All right, let's make sure you have Illustrator open. What we're going to do is create some custom art brushes in Illustrator that we're going to use for hair in future illustration projects. So we're going to do Command N to create a new document. Command N. We want to choose a web document and the default size is fine. We're going to click OK. And then F to work in full screen. All right. I'm going to delete the default brushes. So with my brushes panel open over here on the right, I click on brushes. I'm going to go to the brushes panel options menu and select all unused. Come down to the trash can and I'm going to delete all the default brushes and say yes. These stay. These don't go anywhere. These are default default. These have to be there, so don't worry if those are still there. And then I'm going to switch the swatches really quick, and I want my fill to be black and my stroke to be none. And I'm going to come back to brushes. Then I'm going to take the ellipse tool, right? Under the shape, shape tool menu there, or shape tools, there's the ellipse tool. And I'm going to click and drag out you know, pretty decent size of my artboard here, something like that. A kind of flat, aka tapered, art brush. Then with my direct selection tool, the white arrow, I'm going to click on the endpoint, convert corner, click on endpoint, convert corner. Then I want to make this new shape we created into a brush. It's really easy with it selected with the black arrow or the selection tool. I'm going to come over and click on new brush. And we want it to be an art brush and click OK. Then I'm going to click in front of art brush and just call it tapered art brush one. We're going to make three of these. So I'm going to highlight the name, copy it so I can paste it later and just change the number. Right? It's about thinking smarter sometimes, working faster. Colorization. We want the method of colorization to be tints. And the reason for that is that's going to allow us when we use it and we apply the brush stroke that whatever color the stroke is, that's the color the stroke will be instead of black. So by making it a tint, if our stroke color is red and we draw with this, it's going to be red instead of black. And that's what we want. So we're going to click OK. Gives us a hair stroke there, all right? Now, we're going to modify this. I'm going to take the white arrow. I'm going to highlight these two points in the middle. And I'm going to move my with my arrow key on the keyboard, I'm going to move those two dots over about halfway between the end and the middle. Then same thing, selection tool, new brush, art brush, click OK. I'm going to paste Command V for vomit and then make that two. And colorization is tint and click OK. And then now we're going to do the last one, white arrow. I'm going to click on this anchor point right here, the one on the left. I'm going to delete it. Now we have a gap right here. There's two points, but they're not connected. So I'm going to highlight them. I'm just clicking over and highlighting. I'm going to say object. And anything we draw like that with anchor points is a path, right? The line in between the anchor points are paths. And we want to join the path that we just deleted a point on. So we're going to hit join. And then again, selection tool, new brush, art brush, click OK. Command V to vomit, backspace and make that taper art brush three. Tint, click OK. Now we need to save these brushes, these three we created so that we can use them in other documents. Really simple. Back up to the options panel here. Save brush library. And you can see I already made one in a video. I kind of messed up. So I'm just going to overwrite that. I'm going to call it tapered art brushes. Tapered art brushes and click save. I get this replace window just because I messed up in a previous tutorial. Yours should just save and you're good. Now you can command W. You don't need to save this document. We can just get rid of it. And there you go. Have some hairbrushes.